Hi Pisces, and welcome to your February 2024 read. This read is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. I'm using the Past Life Oracle deck to start the read to see what thread might be needing to look at karmically to be severed and or healed. Wow, look at this. Wars and battles. Pisces, wow. Wow. Some of you literally fought in battles in your past life for what you believed in and what you stood up for. And if you did feel that, or if you've had a feeling that you have this makes sense to you, then um, we commend you because so many people not only don't want to be involved in war, but to fight for your country is a whole nother thing. Some of you have battled it out in other ways as well, such as trying to get through, you know, what Pisces likes to fight. You know what I mean? It is sometimes a battle of what's right and wrong, let's say that, but also the battles of what we see going on out in the world and what we battle within us every day. Some of you may in this lifetime, we'll see, right? If you feel that you don't like to have any, you know, you don't like to have any um, confrontations whatsoever because of this. If this is something that really affected you in a way that now it's like, I've got wounds and battle scars, so... Yeah, I don't want to go back there. And I don't I don't want to rock the boat, so to speak. Some of you have become very um, immune on the other side of that spectrum, immune to the battles of other people, right? And maybe you either con do con you know, do have a confrontation or you literally just stay on the sidelines observing what has been going on, battles in your household with friends, family members, right? That includes that in another lifetime. So maybe you're either avoiding it completely or you're still in the thick of things now. Okay, let's get started. Pisces, let's see what's happening. All right, so you came out right here. I love it to show me that you're on point and what you feel. Okay, I'm going to take this and put it here. This is about your emotions. Emotionally, how you have felt, right? How you feel. Of course, you go by, you go in life, you're you know, emphatic, you go by what you feel all the time, right? You already know how you feel. You don't necessarily question how you feel. Look at this. Look at this beautiful ace. Wow, right? Oh, sorry. This is a beautiful maybe new love, new beginning in love. Love, obviously, that you've learned that the only place that it begins and can begin is with the Holy Grail of the cup for yourself first. You have to love and give yourself that love first. And that's what makes you empowered and master of your own domain. Feeling it, being courageous and knowing, you know. See, you know, the triangle. The mind, body, soul connect without question. I'm going to take this one as well. Oh, wow. Well, you, you know. <laughs> you know that 
I am going to put her here. The mysteries of life begin at the core of the center of your heart, right? We make, we just know. We don't ask questions. You know, you realized, I, I really do feel that you've realized during the course of the present moment that um, all we are all one, no doubt, and that knowing we're, we are one solidifies that you are the master of your own domain. You go with the flow. You like things calm. You like things to be addressed, but also, you know, like you're not going to let people walk all over you. That's for sure. You've learned. You've learned to speak up when you need to speak up. And when you are at peace or you know that you don't need to speak, you don't, right? A very high quality, high level of, of a high priestess only does, only knows that she's only speaking when she needs to speak out to make her point in terms of how she feels. Not necessarily to, to rock the boat or to trigger someone else. It's all about emotional contentment within yourself. But when something needs to be said or done, your strength of resolve does definitely come to the forefront. You know when to be quiet and when to speak up. And you do it through the heart, always. The heart's the only thing that matters, right? Everyone, everything else is the illusion. Your strength is in knowing. You've always known. And certain circumstances, like things around you, this war and battle that you came from in a last past life or whatever, either last life or past lifetime, that you understand now that the only true battle is to confront the heart of what matters instead of adhering to others' egoic needs to go to war and the ego of battles that have been happening since the beginning of time. And that's what makes you so dynamic because you're the 12th house of karma. This is karma. And no, you know what, you know, what you, what you give out, you receive, you know, the laws, right? Don't we know the, the 12 laws of the universe? If you don't Google them, because those are your guiding, that is your guiding light without question. All right, Pisces, let's go deeper. So now where do I go from here? Oh, how beautiful is this? Oh, look at this. You know, I've learned a lot through my life experiences. I've loved and I've seen some of you, I've seen certain parts of the world and some parts I have yet to see. I have yet to go to, to to, to expand my experience of life, I need to feel these places. Yes, I could Google, you know, I could Google, what, what are we going to say? Let's, let's go to Egypt. I could Google Egypt, but
but do you know what the smell of those pyramids smell like? Do you know the culture walking on the holy ground? This is what you want to experience. And this is where you're headed. You want to grow through your life experiences so that you don't miss, literally, do not miss a beat. Do not miss a beat. Leo Aries Sag is reversed. And we have Leo right here. So there could be a Leo Aries Sag that you love dearly, right? It could be a sister, an aunt, a cousin, someone very near and dear to your heart, right? But there are times when this little Leo ends up to be, I'm hearing brat. Wanting more attention, wanting to be heard, needing to know that she is loved. This is a feminine Leo Aries Sag. So whomever's dealing with a feminine Leo Aries Sag, I feel that your life experience, your growth, what you've learned, what you are all as heart, and getting to the heart of the matter is going to, this, this understanding of knowing is going to help this Leo Aries Sag stop being kind of bratty and chatty. You know, kind of demanding. I want this, I want that, you know, show me this, show me that. And I feel you're, you are playing a huge role in this person's life. Because you're showing you're showing this Leo, Aries Sag, it could be really a Leo, but in any event, um, the mysteries of life is to keep calm, to be, to discipline, to be disciplined, to have respect. You're teaching someone these lessons. Oh yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Someone is being, brat might be an understatement. I'm not kidding. Are you kidding me? This is strength in the reverse. Right? Egypt. I didn't even, we didn't even pull the card out. So listen up, Pisces. This Leo, I'm going to say it's a Leo, but Aries Sag on the back. These are the two eights. A continuous attention seeker, right? Beast of burden, I heard. Needs to learn how to exercise control. Exercise control, maintain a calm demeanor in times of havoc. This person, I'm telling you right now, this particular Leo, Aries Sag, requires this attention to be loved. It's on here. You, Pisces, may have lived through much, which we, we have lived much, all of us, but you do have the wisdom, the wisdom. And look at, there's a lion here. I feel your connection, your connection to this Leo, Airy Sag, is fighting these battles that you've already had with this person before. And it, I don't, this is love of a child. This could be a child. This could be a, a young teenager. 
This could be a sister. But you know the ropes. And you're helping this Leo battle out and act out. She's acting out because she requires this love. She's not getting it in the home. I don't, I feel that this is someone who needs attention because she's not getting enough of it in her home life and the battles and wars and scars that you have had are going to, in this lifetime and in others, to get you to the Pisces, to, to be a Pisces, you had to experience every aspect of every astro astrological sign around the wheel. That's how you get to Pisces. That's how you get to the realization of your own higher knowing of the mysteries of life is to experience, you know, one hand washes the other, that karma, right? Of give and receive, of what you put out, you, uh, you get. So you're helping this person because this person needs your love, yeah. And you know, yeah, they tried, they tried, they've been lied to, they've been cheated on, they've been, they've been, um, they might have, they might just like little tweaks here and there of their own manipulations. It's not big, it's reversed. So they exaggerate, let's put it that way. They exaggerate their circumstances they want you to listen to everything that they've that they do, what they've done, where they've been, how their day was because no one else listens. And you are being seen as the guiding light. This is going to work. You are going to help someone that's very near and dear to your heart to, to let them be seen, be heard, paying attention to this child or to a young teenager who needs your attention. You know what I'm saying? When people act out, Pisces, you know they need attention. You already know this. You've been a Leo, Aries, Sag, right? You've been all of the signs around the entire wheel. So you know the needs, which I'm telling you, if this doesn't resonate, what, do, what will resonate and what does resonate for most Pisceans is that you have encountered and you know people inside and out because you have started from your own self, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, et cetera, et cetera, Leo. You've been through the whole wheel. You know and you're tapped in, literally, psychically tapped in to the needs of others and what they require. And that is the beauty of the energy of Pisces. We're coming out of the age of Pisces. So now your role is not necessarily to understand the yin and yang of, you know, um, giving and receiving. You already get that. Now you're going to be the mentorship, the teacher, the wise one, who is going to show others all over maybe the world. You're going to go teach others the cultures, other cultures, other playgrounds, they're saying, battlefields of, of maybe not on the physical 
line of duty, but in a household where children and adult teenagers, etc., are really needing the attention that they're not getting. And if anyone needs, can do it, everyone needs a Pisces in their life. You can calm things down just in a look. Let's go over here. Lovers. Maybe this is your lover or a lover. Spirit says, yeah, look at that. What puts out fire? Water. But here, it's not a putting out of fire. It's the growing of two people learning about one another and how they, how they are built. This is two people that are very different, aside from being masculine and feminine. They're very different. One could be very, right, Leo Aries Sag driven to need the love and attention. And here's Pisces who says, you know what? Let's chill for a minute. Let's kind of like take a walk. Let me hold your hand. Let's take a walk on this holy ground. You see the angel there. The sun and the moon. This is Leo was the sun and the moon. The father and the mother. So, you may be dealing with a relationship that is sometimes explosive. Someone ends up really like out of left field. They want to fight. They want to be heard. They want to be seen. And you're like, hey, listen, listen up. Let's just take a couple breaths and tell me how you feel. If it's not if this Leo Aries Sag is indeed a lover, a friend, a soulmate that could be really a child, anyone that this is resonating with needs your help, Pisces. If you have, where you have, I should say, Leo Aries Sag in your chart, this truly could be part of your makeup and that you're learning to tame the beast within. Beast of burden within. To tame your, your yin and yang. Right? Let's keep going here. Oh yeah, this wheel is turning and no one, no one knows it any better but a Piscean, how it's, how this new, this whole new beginning of a relationship, taming one's emotional Taming the beast within and or in another, right? This could be someone masculine, right? It could be a feminine who's a ma more masculine too. Anyway, it's all about going within and being still and showing others 
through your life experience of how to literally handle situations that get out of hand. Take my hand and let me show you the way to a new melding, a synergy, if you will, of what's of how this at the horizon, this is as above, so below, as above, so below. How that pans out, right? We learn, we learn, we learn. You have seven, seven, you have two sevens. No, three sevens, no, two sevens, I'm sorry. I digress. Seven of swords and seven of pentacles, right? Okay, so if a relationship has gone, has left your life, if a relationship has left, be that a Leo, Aries, Sag, even a Gemini here. However, we pick up the pieces. We just pick up the pieces. We learn from what we've been through. I know it's general, but I'm telling you, we, it is not easy to go from this to this, this to this. It's not easy to have, to teach and or to teach yourself or another how to be still and know when to say, speak up, right? For some of you, it's speak up or forever hold your peace. Ah, I just saw that. Some of you maybe wanted or have already all right, some of you did speak up. Someone may have spoken up and then forever hold your peace. Six, seven, and eight. Six, sevens, six. You have two sixes, two sevens, two eights. If you, this is a progression of time, of where you've been and where you're headed. And I'm telling you, you are going to be very instrumental in mentoring others with all of those life experiences and the ones that are yet to come. Helping others to get to a point of chill. Like, why are we fighting? And what are we fighting for? Have we ever even asked ourselves that question? What are we fighting for? Are we fighting for a relationship? Well, it looks like it. It looks like we're fighting for a relationship to survive. Someone might have really, look at Leo Aries Sag here. Someone may have literally decided to start over again, but now with this being behind you, right? The Leo Aries Sag has learned to be, to have that quality of Piscean trait of being still and not being always in battle, in the battlefields. Right? What's that song? Okay, they're saying, they're telling me, love is a battlefield, right? Here's the battle. Look at, 
Love is a battlefield. Yes, that's what that's what they're saying. I got it. Love is a battlefield until you realize I'm ki not kidding. Not kidding. What are you fighting for? You know? And we have here, let's go here. They want me to go here. The Gemini, Libra, Aquarius may be the external person or is someone you're helping here, right? Or it could be a lawyer. This could be, it could be someone thinking or maybe has been divorced or got divorced or would wants to get divorced but doesn't have the heart to do it. Love is a battlefield. And what is it that you're fighting for? Look at that. Three of swords. And someone is at a grave site. So you have been to battle, but this battle in this lifetime is much different than the battle that you had to fight then. This you were fighting for the love of your country. Here you are fighting for the love of love. Fighting for love. For some of you, you have had to lose a love. Someone might have fought the battle of, right? Yeah, someone may have crossed over. This has been already, this already has happened. Just saying, look. Someone that you may have, that was very near and dear to your heart, might have crossed over, a father figure, um, a Leo Aries Sag, and or, well, we have Virgo Taurus Capricorn there. And then we have Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay, so let's look at the Gemini Libra Aquarius real quick. Wow. Well, I just cut this right out because I know that, that I have really worked on myself hard here. And I'm happy. And I'm going to start a new, brand new, healthy new beginning. And look it. I'm going for that same world. I'm going for that real, true love and commitment. See that? So you're dealing with you're the sh you are the showcase. That's what they're saying. You're not the showcase in the external, like, look at me. You are showcasing your innate empathy and love. The way you know how to handle every sign of the zodiac is the way that now Spirit has you, sorry, Spirit has you on a mission to help others after you have battled your own wars and what, whom you loved and whom you've lost. You're now teaching through your pain through your expression of pain. And this is also, these could be children, but and this is also healing your childhood self, masculine and feminine. And as you, with every person, with every person, Pisces, that you encounter, that you help, that you love, that you show how to just chill. Take my hand. Let's take a walk. It'll be okay. I'm here for you. As much as those words come out 
for others who are suffering, who have been through their own wars and battles. You're the instrument. Let's get a beautiful Earth Oracle card for my beautiful Pisceans. Now, I would love to take all these cards, but we can't. So we're not. That actually was not, was not like, you know, it just happened. So something just happened where, you know, someone really needs attention and love. Okay, let's go. Synergy, Mother Earth. Did we not say synergy? Synergy. Synergy. The beauty of Mother Earth. The healing properties. These are natural healing properties. So you are definitely healing. Healing for others and for self. Every, with every person that you help, you're healing your own self as well as your lineage. I'm going to take another. I'm going to take another two cards, please, for Pisces. This was coming out, submerged. Look at that. Ice cold, right? What does that mean? Ice cold. You don't like the cold or someone's been cold. Look at that communion. I love it. I love it. And the synergy of as above, so below is right here. Let me show you. As above, so below. And of course, what does it mean to be submerged? It's your subconscious. You are also clearing your subconsciousness as you heal your present self of as above, so below. I should put it like this, right? You're very much in tune, Pisces. Your subconscious has been telling you that this is the role. If you've been questioning literally questioning your purpose it's right here subconscious present higher self as a child pisces i feel that you felt sometimes left out in the cold i feel that there was there were times when people were were cold in nature because they too were not, they too were submerged in a mindset of always being on guard at war and battle, battling some sort of war within them. And then you come to the earth plane and to synergize the higher consciousness, the past life, the higher consciousness and the subconscious to become your beautiful self of the whole. You got that? Past life, subconscious, present life, present life moment, higher consciousness. Some of you have encountered eagles or you see eagles on the internet, what have you. You see tigers, lions, I'm gonna say, and bears. Oh my, all right, but that's just a joke. All right, but, and maybe it's not, right? What we fear, fears itself. You're helping people get through their fears for the fears of losing battles, losing people, and gaining so much love. This was in the middle. This is the middle. Ace of Cups. 
because you realize that all we have is love. All we are is love. No matter what surrounds us, no matter people, places, and things that we have encountered, right? We are love and we are one. All right, happy Valentine's Day. Gosh. Past life relationship, for sure. Right? We're dealing with the dark and the light in the hair color. Of course, the hair makes every, every difference. Why? Because the darkness always needs the light. Chemistry, total chemistry. Look at the ancient runes of probably, right? Egypt. I'm serious. You have Egyptian roots. Attraction for without question. You can see that here. But what I like about this, before I pull your third card, is I love the fact that not only is it a past life, but this chemistry... This is the external attraction of the body. You see where his hands are lovely. I love it. But then the inner essence of attraction is synergy of what's within and without. It shows up. Let's just say it's not lust. This is like the true love of another, of self, of others, of the whole, of the one. Retreat. Marriage, a marriage. Maybe some of you are widows. Um, some of you are literally going to battle to save your marriage to save your relationship. It doesn't have to be a marriage, but I'm saying it because they're in, I mean, he's in a tux and she's in a wedding gown. Okay, gown. But what it doesn't matter. What does matter is someone's fighting for love. And that is the true essence of your read. I send you so much love. What an amazing, beautiful read. I'll call, okay, they're telling me that flowers... Someone's getting flowers on Valentine's Day. They may be pink. And maybe taking a walk out in nature, right? Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Okay? Wow. All right, comment, comment, please. And have an awesome month. Take care.